What's up guys, it's Mr. Bringle, and today I'm going to be going over the Hit and Bounce Collisions uh, Concept Builder on the PhysicsClassroom.com. So here we've got the first problem, and it gives us this table here, and it says consider the completed table for the collision between a red cart and a blue cart. Two of the cells of the table have been highlighted. Identify the statement that best describes this data. So you can see up here that we've got the red carts data, we've got the blue carts data, and then the system. And it's highlighted these two boxes here, which shows the total momentum before the collision and the total momentum after the collision. So we need to choose the statement that uh, applies to those two boxes and is true. So the first one says the system momentum before the collision equals the system momentum after the collision. And uh, that looks good to me uh, because the conservation of momentum states that the momentum going into a collision must be equal to the momentum going out. But just for the purposes of talking through this, let's look at the other answers. Uh, the momentum of the red cart equals the momentum of the blue cart. Well, that's not true. We can see that here. It's 120 and 0 before the collision, meaning that the red cart was moving and the blue one wasn't. And it's 90 and 30 after, so that's not true. The momentum of the red cart is the same before and after the collision. The same is true of the blue cart. Well, 120 to 90, 0 to 30, obviously that's not true. The momentum of the red cart and the blue cart does not change. Again, not true. Basically the same statement. And this last one, the momentum of the red cart and the momentum of the blue cart equal the total momentum. So while that statement is actually true, uh, you know, 120 plus 0 is 120, and 90 plus 30 is 120. Uh, it's true, however, it's not applying to this, uh, the red circle here over the t these two boxes. So we're going to stick with our first answer, and we'll go ahead and move on. Okay, so this one has the momentum change highlighted here. So it's showing us that the red cart had a momentum change from 120 to 90, which is minus 30 or negative 30 kilogram times meter per second momentum change. And the blue cart gains 30 kilograms times meter per second in momentum. So now let's look through our statements here. The momentum lost by the red cart is equal to the momentum gained by the blue cart. Um, and once again, that first answer looks good to me. This is showing that the red cart lost 30 kilograms times meter per second and that the blue cart gained 30 kilograms times meter per second. So I like that first statement. Let's go ahead and read through the rest. The momentum of the red cart and the blue cart does not change. That is not true because it shows us that it did right here by 30 kilograms times meter per second. The momentum of the red cart is equal to the momentum of the blue cart. That is not true. You can see, you know, 120 and 0 here, 90 and 30 here. Neither the red cart nor the blue cart have a momentum change. That's essentially the same statement as the second one here, and we already said that's false. And the last one, the momentum of the red cart is equal and opposite to the momentum of the blue cart. So um, you might be tempted to pick this answer because these are equal and opposite, but this says the momentum of the red cart um, and the momentum of the blue cart, not the momentum change. So um, that's really referring to this stuff right here before and after the collision, and that's not true. So we're going to stick with our first answer, and that is correct. We'll go ahead and move on. Okay, so now it's basically going to have us fill in numbers here. It says the red cart is moving rightward with a momentum of 40 kilograms times centimeter per second. So before the collision, the red cart has momentum of 40. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. When it collides with the blue cart, that is also moving rightward with a momentum of 60 kilogram times meter per second. So the blue cart has an initial momentum of 60. The collision causes the red cart to lose 15 kilogram times centimeter per second of momentum. So the red cart loses 15. So after the collision, we would want to do 40 minus 15, which is going to be 25. And then we know that the momentum change here was 15, and make sure to put negative 15 in there. Um, 
so then it says enter the momentum values of each individual cart and of the system of the two carts before and after the collision. So at this point, this is all that it's given us. We got to fill in the rest of these boxes on our own. So uh, the system is referring to what is the total momentum before the collision? Well, you would just add these two numbers together. So 40 plus 60 is 100. So there's a total momentum in the system of 100 kilograms times centimeter per second, which means that after the collision, there must also be 100 kilogram times meter per second of momentum. So that means that whatever goes in this box has to add with 25 to get to 100. And that number is 75. And that should make sense because if the red cart lost 15 kilogram times centimeter per second of momentum, then the blue cart must have gained 15. So we're going to put 15 in here, positive 15 for the momentum change there. And then you can see that the total momentum change of the system is zero because we have a positive 15 and a negative 15. So, and that should be true, right? The momentum change for the system should be zero. It should be 100 before and 100 after because momentum is conserved in collisions. Let's go ahead and check our answer. Good to go. We'll move on to the next one. Okay, so another one of these charts here. It says the red cart is moving rightward with a momentum of 60 kilogram times centimeter per second. So we'll put that in. When it collides with a blue cart that's also moving rightward with a momentum of 30 kilogram times centimeter per second. Uh, the collision causes the red cart to slow down and the blue cart to increase its momentum to 50 kilogram times centimeter per second. So the blue cart goes from 30 to 50. All right, so those are all the values that it's given us. We're going to fill in the rest. So we know that this, the total momentum in the system before the collision is 90, which is 60 plus 30. And because of that, we know that the total momentum after the collision must also be 90. Okay, so we already have 50 kilogram times centimeter per second accounted for. To get up to 90, that means that the red cart must have 40 kilograms times meter per second of momentum. And so that means the momentum change of the red cart is negative 20. The momentum chart, the momentum change for the blue cart is positive 20. And the total momentum change of the system is zero once again, because before and after the collision, the total momentum does not change. And we'll go ahead and check our answer. There we go. Okay, this time it says the red card is moving with a momentum of 100 kilograms times centimeter per second. So we'll put that in. When it collides with a blue card that's also moving rightward with a momentum of 80 kilogram times centimeter per second. The collision causes the red cart to slow down and the blue cart to increase its momentum to 140. So we'll put that in right there. Now we're going to fill in the rest of the chart. Our total momentum in the system here is 100 plus 80, which is 180 kilogram times centimeter per second. That means that after the collision, it also has to be 180. Uh, 140 kilogram times centimeter per second of momentum is already accounted for by the blue cart, which means that the red cart must have an additional 40 to add up to 180 which means that the red cart lost 60 kilograms times centimeter per second, so negative 60, and the blue cart gained 60. And once again, our total momentum change is zero. We'll go ahead and check our answer. And the last one here, it says, uh, the red cart is moving rightward with a momentum of 60 kilogram times centimeter per second when it collides with a blue cart that's initially at rest. If the blue cart is at rest, that means it has zero momentum. And it says the collision causes the red cart to slow down and the blue cart to set and gain 40 kilogram times centimeter per second of momentum. Okay, so it's now moving. So this one's 40 here. Now, total system momentum must be equal to 60, 60 plus zero. So that must be true after the collision as well, which means that the 
Momentum of the red cart after the collision must be 20 so that it adds with the blue cart to make 60, which means that the momentum change of the red cart is negative 40, and the momentum change of the blue cart is positive 40, and the total momentum change of the system is zero because before and after the collision, the momentum stayed the same. Go ahead and check our answer. Once you have completed this concept builder, you are done. You only have to do the apprentice level. And hopefully this was your last one.